Hello everyone and welcome to Programming in Access 2013, the advanced course. My name is Steve Bishop and in this video we're going to be talking about navigation control layouts. Now with navigation controls, you have a little bit more flexibility in the way that you can present your menu buttons. So instead of just having the buttons running across the top like you do with tabs, you can actually put your navigation controls to the left or right hand side of your subform. So let's go ahead and dig into this a little bit. And I'm going to hop out here and go into our database where we were working on form two here. And I'm not going to do anything fancy with this. I'm not going to, uh, you know, have any real rhyme or reason to the way I do this. I just want to demonstrate how you can add these navigation controls to the left or right of your uh, of your navigation here. So um, I'm going to move this over a little bit because we are going to be adding buttons to the left and adding them to the right here. And the way the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're actually going to need to understand that. Uh, this is really the, f the three different components, right? We have the navigation control itself with the buttons, and then we've got the subform below here. Well, this is actually on a grid, okay? This is a grid system, and if you go to the Arrange tab, you'll see that you can start to split your grid up. You can add rows and columns, so you can split vertically, split horizontally, or you can insert, etc. What I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to, um, I just need to click on the main subform here so that it's outlined. And then I'm going to insert a row to the left. And you'll see that pushes everything over to the right here. But now I've got these two additional um, areas here. Okay, I've got these, these two extra, this one extra column that has two other fields in it, basically. Okay, and let me just go ahead and move this over a little bit. What I'm going to need to do now is go back to the Design tab and click on the Navigation Control icon again. And now I'm going to just go ahead and click and drop in a new Navigation Control. And you can see that when I drag it around, it, I can drag that Navigation Control to one of those areas that I just created, one of those two different fields, right? And whichever one I do drop it into, that navigation control will now be associated with that particular uh, area. It'll drop it in and, and put it into that area. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it into the left-hand side here. Now, one important thing I need to do is if you go over to the Format tab for this navigation control, you can see the span currently says Horizontal. And that is the same as what we have up here for this navigation control. You can see it's horizontal. So that's going to lay the buttons out on a horizontal path. So what I probably want to do is now that this is going to, I want this to go down, I need to change this horizontal span to a vertical span. And now that will put my buttons downward. That will lay them one at a time from here down. And you can see when I clicked on this Add New, it changed over here what the subform was, right? It changed the form that's associated with the subform for this button. I'm going to go ahead and say, um, let's see, we got active orders. Let's do, um, what's a good, okay, order list. So let's do order list. And let's put a space there. Okay, and when I hit enter, you'll notice that one of the great things that Microsoft is able to do is if I name this button the same name as one of the names of my forms, if I hit it exactly, it automatically notices, oh, I have a form already called what you just named that, and it automatically pops it in as our, uh, as our navigation target here. Okay, so it does that for us, and it doesn't always work. You know, obviously you're going to have different forms named, and you probably don't, if you name your forms with an FRM like I tend to, uh, like for example, let's see, if do I have one in here? Uh, I don't see one of my forms named FRM, but usually I have a form in here, and whenever I make a form, oh, there we go, for form active orders, right? It really wouldn't look that good if I typed in FRM active orders as the name of the button, so that wouldn't work very well. But anyway, let's move on. So we, um, we already put in this, orders li this order list, and it shows up as a submenu. Now, I just want to show you this real quick, that when I go back and forth between the buttons, you'll see that that 
order list that I had over here disappeared when I click on one of the other navigation buttons, right? It only appears when I have the active orders. Now this menu doesn't necessarily go away, but this orders list button is associated with the active orders button now, okay? It's just an automated association between these two things. If I wanna add buttons to the inventory to reorder, all I have to do is go back into the design view here, click on the inventory to reorder, and now you can see I have a new, uh, I can add new buttons here. So let's do, uh, so inventory to or reorder, let's do inventory list. And you'll see, boom, there it is again, because I have a form called inventory list. So it fills in that this is the subform that I want. And then let's go over to customer orders and let's do customer list here, customer list. Okay, nothing special. Like I said, there's really no rhyme or reason to the way that I've got these ordered. I just kind of want to demonstrate to you that this is how this works. So we've got active orders, and then I can click on the orders list, and that gives me a different, uh, a different form in here. And then if I want to go back to my active orders, all I have to do is just click on this menu back up here again, and it brings it back up. Same thing with inventory to reorder, but now you can see I have a different button called inventory list. And I, I can just go ahead and click on that, and you can see it pulls up the inventory list. Same thing with the customer orders. There's my customer list, etc. And you can do the same thing for the right-hand side. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to click on my subform again, and I'm going to go to the arrange tab here, and then I'm going to insert to the right. And now that adds once again another column to the right of my subform. And what I can do is I can go ahead and go back to my navigation control, just click there to drop it in. And it's not quite what I wanted, right? So I'm gonna have to adjust the margins here, but first let's go ahead and drop it and make sure that it hits my column correctly. There we go. And now I can uh, move this back. And let's make sure that the span is set to vertical. So the buttons go downward. And let's add a new one here. So uh, let's go to, uh, let's see, for customer orders, let's do, let's do customer, let's do uh, customer details. Okay, so uh, we probably could expand this out a little bit, or I could, I could probably drop this down here if I wanted the button to be a little bit taller. And let's go ahead and save that and view it. And now when I go to customer orders, you'll notice it's not there, right? That's because it's actually the third layer of navigation buttons, right? Because remember, I first split it up to the customer list. So now, in order for me to get to that button that I just created, I actually have to go to the customer list first. And now that's where my customer details will show up. So it's actually three different layers of navigation that you can have to your form in order to get to the appropriate subform. And this can continue on. You can continue to divide this up as many times as you want. So if I wanted to add yet another layer, so let's go ahead and uh, let's put another, uh, let's add another split here, insert to the right. And let's go ahead and add another navigation control and make sure we drop it into the correct column there. And now let's see, what else can we do? Customers, let's, let's do, let's go ahead and do the customer order subform. That should be fine. Customer orders subform. Okay. And drop this down. Oh, oh okay. That's good enough. Why not? Who cares, right? <laughs> this is just for demonstration purposes anyway. Okay, so if I go to my customer orders, then I go to my customer list, then I go to customer details, and then I can click on customer order subform. So you can see it just continuously adds another layer of navigation. So you can have a navigation control within a navigation control within another navigation control and you could just keep layering this so you can even add you know menu buttons down here at the bottom or another secondary level at the top if you want to uh, instead of splitting it horizontally maybe you want to or, or instead of splitting it vertically maybe you want to uh, do the insert above right and then put it in there instead so you have your secondary buttons go below the primary buttons 
however you want to design this it's very very flexible uh, and you can even throw a logo in there you can really kind of make this look like a website and that's really kind of what navigation controls are designed to be for is when you're developing a form that you want to eventually make uh, a, um, a website out of so anyway there you go I hope that this has been helpful for you and I hope that it kind of re removes some of the fog I really like navigation controls I love the flexibility and the way that you can have different layers of navigation uh, all controlling this one single subform object uh, I really like that ability to do that with this okay well if you have any questions please feel free to drop me your questions in the comments below I'll be happy to answer anything any questions related to this video and as always don't forget to please like favorite and subscribe